Okay, thanks to a comment from somebody who reminded me that I'm a total dick. Um, this thing's still fucking sitting in its box. Uh, sorry, Walt. Sorry if uh, anybody's been waiting on me. Um, these guys, right here. Um, it's good that uh, it did fail on me. Um, in this regard, anyway. Um, these need to be Loctited blue, as far as I know. Uh, double confirm that with Walt. Um, these should be Loctited before you run it. Before you run it. Should I say it a third time? Before you run it. Okay. So, these pads are done. These need to come off. I need to ship them back. I'm going to do that today. Um, I ordered a capac capacitor kit for an old radio. And they have these giant uh, canned caps in them. Or at least one. One filter cap. These things are pretty cool. I don't want to toast Buddy's box too much. Um, basically what happened is... Uh, he sent uh, two shipments via USPS. And uh, one didn't make it. Because it came to me instead. I got two boxes. This is a Hayseed Ham Fest. Yeah, ham radio stuff. So this is a capacitor. In nice canned form. I wonder if he's got any kind of old style condensers. That'd be neat. Get some new stuff, new good stuff that's like old stock, but new. Um, yeah, so this came to me, addressed to me, in a box to me, um, but doesn't belong in my radio. Uh, so I sent a message, and he's like, yeah, it's supposed to go to some guy in Ontario. So I guess I gotta ship that to him. Um, he should just ship another one, but uh, I'll be nice and send it off, and he'll cover the shipping. So I'll do both of those same time today, tonight. Uh, go get that done right now. So let's take these off, box them up, and uh, sorry guys, I've been lazy and busy. Let's see if we can do this. Put on my hand. How do you do this, Walt? Oh, there's one. You just gotta be a man about it, right? Those pads are sharp, though. Let's grab a glue. Get a little bit walkier. Oh. I got a winter glove here. That'll do it. Stay there. I don't want to have to lose or chase down those. Chase down those screws. Guess these would be classed as what machine screws. And that one was loose. So that would have been the first one to fail there. Um, let's see what happens. We got. Third one out. So I guess I don't need to take these out. Um, they don't have to come all the way out, but now the whole clutch should come apart. That one plate still in my hand here. Um, I'm gonna try and remember how this goes here too. And there we go. So it looks like. I have another clutch here. Prop that up. I got one just not handy right now. Where do I? Oh, I do. You can't even really see it though. So it looks like a lot was removed, and 
I don't know, some added? Yeah, just machined out the hub and it's interesting. Cool. Neat deal, man. That's the first time I've had it apart, so getting these springs off should be easier now, but uh, I think we can just do it that way. So there's a shoe, there's a spring, spring, I'll just slide this up, there's no notching there. Now, I don't know if this bluing, we got some bluing, is that from your work, Walt? I'm not sure. So, there are my shoes, they're going to go back, and there's a snap ring box, this one's empty, uh, I got a big one, yeah, I got a big one. Big one, let's throw those in here. Those in here. Those in here. And my other springs, it must be upstairs somewhere. Don't lose those. And Walt can have those. Walt can have those. Okay apart. Let's go back in here. And it's almost a 35 trick metric. It's gonna have to go back. And I'll pack that a little better. Don't worry. So there we go. Got that dealt with. This is gonna get shipped back to its new owner to be put in a radio and it looks like I got some moped grease on it. We'll wipe that down, get some packing material, and we're good. So there you go. There's the inside of uh, Tomo's Hammer Clutch. Um, hopefully, I got most of it in frame. Um, otherwise, go buy one. Check it out yourself.